Hi, I'm Devin Gall. And I'm Cole Lorenzen. And today we're gonna be talking about some tips and tricks to diagnose any uh, planner issues that you might have going on. This will be pertinent for ME5s, uh, 5Es, and it'll also be applicable to exact emerges. However, it will be a little bit different on the exact emerge meter, some of the things that we're talking about. So to get started, um, we'll just kind of talk through how to fine tune the planner. As you can see, we've got our display here on our test stand. I'm gonna go ahead and start it up and we'll try to achieve a desirable seed singulation here. You can see with our vacuum at approximately 15.6 inches of water, uh, our actual population is pretty close to our target at 30,000. Our seed singulation is at 96 and a half. And our skips, we have a few more skips and doubles in there. Um, our seed spacing in CB, we want that number to be below 0.33. Uh, the university studies have shown that anything below that number has no negative effect on yield potential. So if we're below there, we're doing pretty good. So first off, I'm gonna just adjust our vacuum a little bit and you can see uh, if our vacuum isn't quite where we need it to be, that how it affects our population and seed spacing. So I'm gonna go ahead and crank our vacuum up. That's as high as our test stand will go around 2021. And our meter's set pretty good. We're still doing right around our population. You can see our, our seed singulation has suffered a little bit. We've got quite a few multiples as we might expect. Uh, we're getting a few skips in there too. Likewise, if I back down our vacuum, we would anticipate to see quite a few skips probably as we're not picking up the seed from the bottom of the meter. And then you can really see skips pop up. So a pretty good idea of how vacuum might affect our performance. With these Promax 40 discs, they do a really good job of giving you a pretty wide range of vacuum and they do a, a pretty good job. So next what we'll do is we'll come back get it set to about 11 or 12 again and then I'll have Cole back off the doubles eliminator. So we've got our doubles eliminator back all the way off now and as you'd expect we're getting a lot of seed multiples. So what that does is as that disc moves around that doubles eliminator will knock off any any extra seed that we might have on there. So with it back all the way off if I crank up the vacuum we'll see seed multiples skyrocket. We can probably adjust our vacuum down enough to eliminate some of those. But if you have any in particular row that's not performing like the rest, you might want to go back and double check your doubles eliminator. So next we'll go ahead and engage the doubles eliminator all the way. So right now we have our doubles eliminator engaged to a number of seven. You can see our population isn't too far off of our target. We're still at 93 to 96% singulation. But we can also see that our seed skips are quite a bit and we don't have any multiples because we're eliminating all of those. So if you see this issue on any one row, your planner and the other, the other rows are performing, uh, you might need to come back and adjust that doubles eliminator. Once again, we recommend starting for corn on five, on the ME5 row unit. It's usually a pretty good starting spot and you usually won't have to adjust it much above or below that. So a pretty uh, common problem that happens is if you ever have to check out your meter uh, for any reason or you, you fill the seed and um, clean something out, sometimes when you close this door, it won't get latched all the way. And as you can imagine, that will cause some vacuum issues. So you can see our meter's rotating and I can crank up the vac all the way and we're still only getting 1.4 on our vacuum. So that'll be across multiple rows as a vacuum on a planter controls a big chunk of the planter. So if you have that, if you were just out messing with the meter or something, that's something that happens quite a bit is we don't get that door latch all the way. I'll go ahead and have Cole latch our door. So now we've got it back our vacuum has climbed up quite a bit and we can adjust it back down to where we need to be. 
So other common issues that happen, and we don't have a, a bean plate in here, but if we were planting beans, sometimes people forget to, to move their brush to the, the steps on there instead of the one step, they forget to switch it over. And that'll tend to knock off one or two rows of the beans on the bean plate. So you'll be underpopulating. Another thing that might happen is if I go in here, we have a Pro Max 40. If uh, you're running E-sets, it'll be a 30 cell disc. And you can see how that will affect our population as we're going. So if it's a 30 cell disc, but right now we actually have a Pro Max 40 in there, our population is gonna be off. So that's another good reminder to, when you change uh, seed types, or if you're running an E-set or a Pro Max 40, just make sure that you have your right disc entered in on the display, and that will um, help avoid any headaches down the road. If you have any questions about uh, meter diagnostics, please be sure to get a hold of us at any of our landmark implement locations.